Okay, you could have asked me. Um, you could have asked me a question yesterday. Um, what's uh, okay? Population of Finland. I would have told you about five million. Uh, anything else of interest? I would have said, well, yeah, you know, about eighty-five percent of them live within fifty or sixty miles of um, the southern tip. Uh, they all live down down south, basically. And you would have said to me, well, why is that, John Lightow? I don't know. Probably there isn't much going on in the north. I don't know. The reason is, if you ask me the same questions today, I would give you the answer. It is freezing in the north, and I'm only halfway up. In another 800 miles where I'm going to go, I don't even want to think how cold it is. This is bitter. Great sunshine, all the rest of it. Yes, lovely sunshine. You can see that. Absolutely wonderful. It is incredibly cold. Unbelievably cold. The people themselves, you can see a difference there. Um, Icelandic. Uh, I mean, it, 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 you'd say that the Finns themselves look Icelandic anyway, from whichever part of Finland they are. But up here... They're hardened to it. You can you can tell the skin, the faces. Um, they're working in extremes. This is the summer. This is a really nice day in the summer, and it is so cold. It is just unreal. I'm taking the best part of about 200 mile detour to go to Santa's land. I'm about 30 miles away from it now, so I'll be there fairly soon. I tell you what, if the big man's not there, I'm going to be one bloody cheesed off person. No joke whatsoever. I, I've got a detour, uh, and this is just cold. But on a serious note, um, yeah, insanely cold. And instead of being able to do the mileage, you, you can't. Well, I can't anyway. Um, yeah, I've done 150 miles this morning. And none of it was pleasant. It was, and it's very draining and very tiring. Um, there's no oxygen up here. It's just, it's just hard work. E even though the sunshine looks great and all the rest of it, so it's very picturesque. But there's no way could I do five or six hundred miles in, in this weather. I wanted to do another two hundred this afternoon, which I probably will be able to do. But it'll be on the basis of, you know, in the past I, I ride for like two hours. Go through a fuel ta fuel tank in two hours. Uh, it's only a very small tank, um, and then and then I'm ready for a break. Then there's no way um, I'm going to do an hour in this at the most, and then stop and have a coffee and warm through, or at least try your bones. And I've just had a break now, and a decent one, you know, like 15, 20 minutes in a proper warm cafe having coffees. But now I'm still freezing cold. It that didn't warm me up at all. It is really, really, really bitter up here. And as I say, this is only the part, the start of the journey. Um, yeah, you know, tomorrow, uh, just, yeah, when I get up there tomorrow, it's another, from here, it's another seven or 800 miles north. So therefore, wow, I don't even want to think what it is like that. Who didn't, somebody should have shot, ah, can't even get my words out. Somebody should have forewarned me of this. Where would, somebody should have said something about the Arctic was cold. I had no idea of this. I'm not whinging really. Um, I am because it's very, very, very cold. But uh, the whole trip has been about extremes, and the whole trip has been uh, exactly what I wanted to be. You know, if, if this was all very pleasant and warm, it wouldn't really feel like the Arctic, would it? So therefore, um, it it makes it more atmospheric. It's just that riding a bike in these conditions, uh, I put extra layers on this morning because when I woke up this morning, I realised it was really cold. Um, so I put extra layers on. It's really had no effect whatsoever. The, the suit itself is three ply anyway, so uh, you know that, that's, that's really good. The suit, but I put thermals on as well this morning, and tights as well. I got a pair of tights on. But to, to be honest, the tights really have got nothing to do with motorcycle. I, every every Tuesday I wear tights anyway. You know, regardless of whether I'm on the motorbike or not, you know, it's my day of being Margaret. I'm joking, Debbie. That's who I am on a Tuesday, Debbie. Anyway, there you go. Let's get on to Santa. Let's make sure he's there. And I know he's not going to be there, but hopefully something's there to make the trip worthwhile. Wow. <laughs>